Episode three. We're back. Diana and Edgar, or Edgar and Diana, whatever you want to call it. So it's episode three. Uh, we got another beer. People are sending us beer. Don't get left out. We're doing some shout outs today. Shout out Diana. Shout out Edgar. Masonic. Uh, thank you guys for showing support on the last two videos. It was a, a lot of support. Can I get close to you? Does it look better now? All right, either way. Uh, we got more questions that I gathered from my Instagram live. Like we we're talking about, that's the avenue that we kind of usually go towards to and get a lot of information from, and that's kind of where we dwell from. Uh, let's go. Let's dive into the questions. We got 15 minutes. We got a beer today. Let's see what we're drinking on today. I'm sorry. We got a double India Pellel from New Holland Brewing called Hoptronics, proudly brewed in Holland, Michigan. All right. All right. So I am going to answer some questions. My wife just showed you guys some fire. Because it has, um, it has like a Galaga type deal no, going on. It's it's called asterisk? No, it is. Yeah. It's called a centipede kind of low-key because it has the, the, the little barriers for yeah. you. And then, yes, it's more like a centipede type of thing going on. But yeah, uh, that's way invaders. past my time. Space invaders. Whatever whatever makes you happy, baby. It's space invaders. It is space invaders? Mm-hmm. Okay, dokie. Okay. We said everything. I don't know. I'm sorry. Did I come off like an asshole, guys? Am I rude to my wife? Maybe. We live together. We've been living together for 10 years. And I hit her. Just kidding. She's fine. Are you going to have to edit that? <laughs> no, you're fine. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> All right, back to the show. That was awkward. Uh, Diana can't escape the house. Uh, she knows better. All right, just kidding. She actually has me tied down. What are we doing today? Well, can you read my serial killer handwriting? Because I feel really awkward now. <laughs> what does it say? Is show them what it looks like. <laughs> Show them what we're looking at. I don't even think these are the questions. These are the questions. There's no questions on There's there. a bunch of questions on there. It's just Look, ads. 223v2, oh. what should we expect? Expect from what? And Ico Mangelo asked that question. Oh my god, I'm so red and What does that mean? Uh, what should we expect from the 223v2? Alright, for starters, uh, I released 223v2 under the name 223v2 because it's... That's what I'm doing. It's an undisclosed strain. I will... Disclose the strain for you guys. Uh, we spent one minute on awkwardness, and it's still awkward. It's still not gone. I'm it. fine. You're fine. I'm not fine. Uh, I'm fine now. All right, two, two, three, v two. I haven't told you guys. I'll tell you when it's released. Uh, when I tell you guys, you guys are gonna be super happy. Uh, what type of terpene profile should you expect from it? You're not gonna get no sativa. You're not gonna get no uh, cookies. You're not gonna get no tangy. You're not gonna get no kush. You're not gonna get no gas. So just whatever else is left, take a guess between those. All right, you got anything to say, baby girl? Because you haven't said nothing. What's up? Mm -hmm. What's good? What's happening? I don't know what that is. Well, look, this one. No, a two two whatever. I don't know. Two two three three two. Okay, Next mushrooms. Question. Mushrooms. Do I plan on ever making mushrooms? Nah, I I, I, mm -hmm. I had a bad experience with mushrooms, right? Making mushrooms? No, but like even doing them, and then I had a good one. A good one. I, I wasn't even enjoying. It. I was kind of forcing myself to do it, almost to like repair my I think my um, regular routine I just wanted to snap out of my regular routine recently during COVID so I was micro dosing every day till recently probably you know three months ago no a, a month ago I probably stopped you know mm -hmm. but yeah mushroom. I don't think um, I like mushrooms what about you no when you did them you don't like them I don't know micro dose think, mega um, dose heroic dose medium dose low dose no it no. makes you. It gives you like a gut feeling. It gives you like anxiety almost. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. And then living in the city doesn't help, right? Mm -hmm. And then with the pressure and all the shit that we do, it, it's not a, you know, you, you can't feel relaxed when you got fucking a thousand things on your plate. But that's just me. Uh, but acid, I rather do acid. Acid. She likes acid. I like DMT. Internet history. What no is my internet history? What do I usually browse on? World Star Hip Hop, well, Drudge Report. Fark.com, and that's it. I don't go on 4chan no more. It's really demonic. No. Just those three, huh? Worldstar, mm -hmm. uh, Drudge Report, Fark. Mm -hmm. I get by with those. I don't even do anything else. I honestly don't. And and to believe, like, I get all this, all this, you know, muse from that. You know, I don't, I don't amuse myself through Reddit or anything like that, like yeah. memes or anything I, I like that. I go on Reddit I, sometimes. 
the memes nowadays they're through IG. They used to be through 4chan when when I was growing up, mm-hmm. and then they transitioned to like Reddit and then Facebook and then you IG. You just make your own. Now I you know you can make your own. You know they're not like the the, the new age memes that I see like of these distorted images and it, those <laughs> are the, the best those are called spicy memes those are the best memes in the world i don't know who's making these things but like, like 13 year old kids it's like your your it's little hilarious. brother david is yeah. making these you know what i mean and he's not little no more like and and it's like it's Just, the funny it's the most random fucking funniest shit in the world and those are my favorite memes by the way those the ones where it's like shooting you the image and it's like this random ass comment and it's just the best all right next question uh, who's my favorite artist? Well, musician-wise, I'm listening. I know I, I, it's like fucking... Diana will even tell you who I listen to. I listen to a lot of Detroit rappers. Uh, currently, that's what I listen to. Like, if I go in my car, I'm listening to that. I was listening to oldies today. You're trying to. Yeah, I just bumped some oldies in the car. <laughs> and it was just... I went to the house and said, Alexa, oldies. And it just gave me the worst songs i never heard in my life. But uh, I I want like cholo oldies, not like fucking country oldies or whatever the fuck those things were on the radio earlier or on the Alexa. But yeah, as far as artists, I like to listen to Babyface Ray, Freddie Gibbs, fucking everything, man. There's so much shit on the fucking, on the telly, you know what I'm saying? All right, what, what else we got? How old were you when you first started growing by JMX310. Alright, for, for starters, JMX310 goes to Chewy's as well. Mariscos. Mm-hmm. So he knows fire, Mariscos. When did I start growing? When I was a kid, well, I was like a little baby. Little manger baby. I'm just kidding. Uh, I I would grow, you know, tomatoes and chilies for my grandparents and corn in Mexico as a child. Every summer and winter. And, uh, Got back home, started smoking weed, maybe like uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Uh, 17, yeah. yeah. probably like 17. I've grown for like 10 years plus now. Not like, oh, I'm in a fucking 100 lighter and everybody knows how to grow. No, for funsies, and that's the best way to grow it. I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. I don't need a fucking 100 lighter to to be happy with weed, bro. I got all the hash in the world. Who cares? It's like my dick. All right. How old are you? Thug Pug gear. I got some peanut butter breath crosses. I got Thug Pug's favorite Mel cross to Nom Nom, and that's a scapegoat cross. I'm doing some garlic breath crosses, and that's about it as far as Thug Pug gear. Uh, baby, you do you smoke? You don't smoke. I huh? don't smoke. It gives me anxiety. There you go. It's been like like ten years. <laughs> Who's your favorite artist? What do you like to listen uh, to? Right Modest Mouse, The Cure, New Order. Anything new? Everything or? sad. Anything um, new out right now? No. Just old stuff for now. Yeah, new rock is pretty bad for the most. That, I mean, the, that, the, that the one song thing, that my son listens to. Is that's really, not even rock. That's, that's like pop. that's pop. Yeah, I think it's a nice <laughs> rock. Yeah. And okay, no, the newest things I listen to, and not even that, is when when album is um, Cage the Elephant. Okay, Cage the Elephant, and they're old too, right? They've been yes, out for the a while. album's probably like ten years old now. What do you like to browse? Spicy memes? No, I don't know. <laughs> I was on a Snoo Reddit the other night looking Wait. at Snoo stuff. Cool. You still like Just going like on Facebook stuff. though, right? Yeah, I go to the um, coupon page on Facebook. All right. Yeah. That's that's what, that's her browsing history. People ask what threads Animal I like crossing. to go on. It's not a thread. Like, okay, you're asking what I like to do on the internet pretty much, right? Yeah. It's, it's not much you could. There's a lot you could do on there, but that's what I do. Yeah. Uh, major collabs. I, I'm doing a Capulator, Wilson collab, a lot of Oni collabs, a lot of unofficial force collabs. I coined that term. That's me. Uh, exotic, fucking, you know, Soulfire, that was official collab. Uh, a lot of other capulator unofficial force collabs shit a little bit of everything man you name it you name it I probably did it okay so aside from artists as a music what other artists do you like Did you reading comic books huh oh uh, shit go read some uh, some fucking Grant Morrison is kind of spacey more English if that's a word uh, go read some uh, Neil Gaiman Sandman like, uh, I don't know who, 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 who did the book, but uh, go read Sweet Tooth, go read Chuck Palahniuk, or however you say his name. Uh, that's the guy that did Fight Club. He has, like, just good 
uh, you know, just lit the literature novels, not no pictures and shit like the graphic novels. Like I could actually, you know, bear myself to read that. I just read the book on psychedelics with like the dog looking fucking characters. Uh, that's a really good book. It's literally it took me twenty minutes to read that whole book. It's a really good quick read. Uh, shit, I could go to my bookshelf and just tell you guys what to fucking read. I could go through that bin. The new Incredible Hulk series right now that's out. It's uh, every Wednesday new comics get put out. That's forever and ever. That's been happening as long as I've been reading them for 10 years. So every Wednesday there's new literature as far as comic books are concerned. And there's new arcs, new runs, Batman, Superman, Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles. And it's always a good fun read. It's an easy read. Uh, and it's cool to dive into. So go read Scout. Go read 100 Bullets. Go read uh, Sweet Tooth, like I said. Go read... Ex Machina, go read Sandman, go read fucking Walking Dead is a good read, it's not just a show, there's a lot of shit that's fucking on TV that I fucking I tell my wife, I'm like, hey baby, that's, I already read that. Like the Watchmen? And, and she's like, you're crazy, you're a crazy man. Yeah, even, we yeah, have Watchmen, but. No, I mean the show. But that no, was when we were kids and shit, you know? No, I mean the show. The show, even the show, the show, yeah, yeah, the show, straight up. But yeah, a lot of things like that. There's a lot of things, and even uh, the, the the freaking My Chemical Romance show, Umbrella Academy. Mm -hmm. I went as far as reading, you know, Volume Two and Volume Three of, you know, the Volume One series. But um, either way, it's all space the other day. Go read. Reading is good for you. It's fun. It fucking takes you out of this crazy world we live in. So whatever. What's next? Okay. What are you looking forward to? Uh, shit. Getting out of the city, getting in a chiller spot. Doing less things since I'm already established. Less is more. Uh, fuck, man. I don't know. Just growing, better, establishing myself, becoming a better person. Uh, doing more YouTubes, doing more Twitches. How's your Twitch going? Twitch is going good. Getting better at gaming too. I'm pretty good at gaming. You think you're gonna stray away from Call of Duty? I need to. Swim. You need to find a game that you can interact with people. Like you're able to talk and like talk and play and be and interact with people. We'll more. probably do like a zombie game online. Because like with Call of Duty, you kind they of need to learn how to play other games. Because there's only one guy that plays Halo. There's only one. They need to. We need to find a common ground, like you said. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like you have to be able to interact with people. Well, you didn't say that, but we need to find a common ground. I, What's next? I wasn't thinking about your friends, but. Uh, yeah. Gaseous Cross, MPK995, Sour DBX. Go to the website, grab those. For your best price, single or double uh, tacos? Tortillas. Oh. <laughs> we got a couple of It things. depends. If it's handmade, it's single. If it's not handmade, then double. If it's small? If, yeah. If like, it's if you're small, getting a big double, you're smoking rocks. Yeah, you don't get big doubles. All right. Unless it's like a new taco guy, he don't yeah. really know what he's doing. Single handmade. Mm -hmm. Or if in No, single handmade. You single never handmade. get handmade doubles. Yeah. Small, double. Yeah. All right, well... That's the answer to that. That's that's the answer to single or double taco as far as uh, tortillas are concerned. Thank you guys for joining the third episode. Mm -hmm. Have a great night. Uh, this will be the wrap, right? We're wrapping mm -hmm. it up? Wrapping it up. All right. So are we going to start kissing each other again? Mm -hmm.